We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. I'll ask for a return this video. Smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you'll appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. Now, before we jump into Wish Stock and how it exploded today, right? Explosive upside. We're going to talk about everything here in the chart and what to expect moving forward going into the week. But I want to share with you guys the opportunities I mentioned this morning, as well as two stocks I mentioned this weekend that are up 10% and the other is 20%. And we're going to jump right into it here with Wish Stock. So the stocks I mentioned this morning turned out to give realistic expectations, 5 to 15% opportunities. They didn't break out 20% plus, which is a home run in our definition of home runs. But 5 to 15% on the day at their spikes and highest point of possibility is phenomenal. We're going to look at these stocks. And if this is something that interests you and you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So I mentioned CARA, mentioned AEHR. And by the way, CARA has been mentioned for days now since it was at $11 by other members in the community. I wasn't following it until I saw FDA approval. And this morning, it gave an opportunity of 10 to 15% on its spike. I like to wait for things to actually have actual solid data, but a lot of investors were watching it. They were pretty confident. And that's the other part too about joining. You don't just see the stocks I'm watching, but if not, the community as well shares their insights. Then I also mentioned CRDL and BPTH, guys. So if this is something that you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description. So here we have Naked Brand Groups Limited, NAKD on the screen. This is a stock I mentioned this weekend on August 21st. Top penny stock to watch before Monday. This penny stock can go crazy. Key levels watch ASAP. Now, only 600 people watched it. I hope more people start watching these and don't overlook it because this stock actually pulled back on Monday, right? Sitting sideways, hit those lows right there, and it actually has spiked up nearly 10% plus. You could see it right there. This has been a phenomenal jump all the way up to its spike of nearly 10 to 20% actually at its highest point where it's currently sitting is about 10%. Its highest point was nearly a home run. Now we're going to talk about another stock that I mentioned this weekend over at the Patreon, which you'll gain access to as well. If you join the community, the link is down below. And here it is, PSFE. It was sitting actually downwards, right? But sideways on that downward pressure. And I was looking at that support level of 806, currently sitting at 824 when I mentioned this and shared it. I go ahead and share the analysis price targets and why it is that I'm watching it. I do a brief summary on my due diligence and what I like about it. And if we look here at the chart, PSFE is on fire, guys. And I think there's more room, right? It's something to watch carefully, but this stock has gone up since I mentioned it nearly 10% plus hitting 902, guys, because it had a little bit of a sideways action, started to take off, and it had recent news of an acquisition. And it's having a slight pullback here. So if I put 42 vision, you can actually see that this pullback seems to still have some strength. It can actually turn into weakness if it shifts from dark green with red border to red. But if it doesn't, it can start bouncing back up. And you can see all the strength here since I mentioned it and how it's been reacting in just two days, right? I mentioned it on Sunday. You can see that right there on the 22nd at actually 9.53 p.m. right before, you know, the next day. And Monday morning, this stock started to take off and it's hit high so far of $9 and it could possibly continue into the end of the week. It's going to definitely be something I will be watching, but it's already up 10% plus. So we're going to jump into these charts and everything about it. But if you guys want to gain live access to these stocks and when I mention them, as well as the community itself that is growing and learning, you can become part of it too. Check out the links down below and we look forward to having you join us. So here we are with Wish Stock Context Logic Inc. WISH stock. Now, this stock is exploding in the middle of the week. This is one of the stocks that I mentioned over at the Patreon last week. It was sitting sideways and it hit lows last week of all time lows that we've seen of around $6 and some change. And so far, the stock is up nearly 20% plus and today it reached 20% plus territory. Now, the stock is actually pulling back and kind of sitting sideways, 
yet it still has exploded significantly to the upside, nearly 10% today alone. But a lot of people are asking themselves, why? Well, if you look up different articles, the main thing that's going to come up is that it's being driven by Reddit forum hype and a lot of social media hype. That's probably one thing. But the main thing that I noticed is how options of this week expiring have actually gotten a lot of open interest, a lot of volume, and that also drives up the price, creating volatility. And if we go over here, we can see that this is expiring on the 27th. Okay, today is the 24th. So that expires in literally three days. And right now, the 750 right strike price is the one with the highest amount of volume and the highest amount of open interest out of the call options that you can see here in that area. So anything below that 650 is kind of close to it. But I mean, 750 has the directional bullish push, right? And it got really close to it. It got rejected around that area. Okay. Why did it get rejected so fast? Well, profit taking happened. So the big question is, is this a bull trap? That's how you can actually kind of distinguish if a bull trap is forming. Now, the stock is holding itself up regardless because there's been a move from last week's lows all the way till now. The way that this actually could prove itself is not breaking through certain support levels, which we're going to discuss now. But I just want you guys to be aware of this, that that's why this volatility is happening so fast, because the closer it gets to 750 or the higher it goes above it, the higher this could go in the returns of those in that position. Now, this is a very risky way of investing. I just want to put that out there because option contracts that expire that same week, the chances of you actually ever seeing it come back after that date is nearly zero unless you actually exercise the option contract. And that means that you are telling the option contract exercise that you are going to own a hundred shares of that specific stock. Now, if it goes in the south direction, right? If you don't exercise the contract and you just hold it and it evaporates towards losing value and not being anything worth worthless in that point, then you can actually lose all the amount invested. So that's why options are so volatile, so risky, but that's what's going on right now. And that's why this has moved up so fast. And those option contracts have gone up by hundreds of percentages. Okay. This one was up 300% plus earlier. Okay. It's already pulled down almost a hundred percent. That's almost a 30% loss for anyone that bought it at those high premiums when things were very volatile and it was getting closer to 750. I mean, if this breaks out from 750, I mean, this can continue getting higher and you can see there the growth in the other ones, but those numbers, they look great on screen, but if you're not in the right place, right with timing and execution in your entries and exits, you won't really see those gains. There's others seeing it already. And that's those that got in before. And that's why I just want to put that out there. Don't FOMO, don't chase. And this is not me telling you that that's the option contract that makes sense. I'm here to give you insight on why the stock moves so big. And if it continues and it holds itself up past Friday, it can signify that there's some real strength. So I want you to hear me out. If it holds itself up past Friday or goes higher after those expire, right? Those have to expire those specific contracts expiring this Friday and it can hold itself up above 750. Then there is some real strength in the move. But if it pulls back before that date or towards that date or after that, the only thing holding it up was the fact that that option contract specifically was creating a lot of volume and a lot of attention, right? And you could see how fast things moved here. That volume went from literally in the 20 thousands, 30 thousands, all the way up to 100, 600,000, 400,000, 200,000, 172,000. I mean, just quickly volume coming out of nowhere. And that had to do a lot with the option contracts. Because remember, when you buy one option contract, it shows you the open interest and it shows you the volume. But per contract, there's a hundred shares moving at a time. Remember that as well. So it's so important to realize that a lot of this volume is coming from the option contract. So what's important here to look at? Well, the first thing is it's currently sitting at 713.14, give or take. And the first support level is right here at 703. If that gets broken through the next point of reference I would watch is 675 and then the lowest point of the day 663 and the lowest point in this week 
was right here at 644. Those are some key levels to watch and see where the volatility is going, if the bears are gaining control, or if the bulls are trying to reappear and bring it back up. Now for this to continue to the upside, the bulls are going to want to break through 742, and then up here at 784 to get closer towards $8 and continue pushing up to the upside. So right now, 750 is the option contract with the highest attention. And if it breaks through that, it's going to continue to push higher if it can hold itself up and it can actually get towards eight. And if it can hold itself above eight, even after the expiration date or even 750 in general, or pretty close to it at 740, 730, then there might be some strength in the move. But if not, this might be just another bull trap like the ones we've seen before and things might just cool back off to reality or if it can find some consolidation at these upper levels, we can reanalyze the situation and see moving forward. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.